Minecraft, but I uh, I didn't get in like on that wave, and mm. so like, and they just like never. It was just like never really a thing when they're like when I was like when we we're on yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It was like if they're playing Minecraft, it was like on their that's their own. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like their yeah. their own thing. I wasn't around or whatever. Nice. Uh, so yeah, that, that was, that was, that's like that's like the only reason why. It's <laughs> just because. Uh, we're, uh, we're just playing other. We're just playing other yeah, stuff, yeah. having other goofs, That's and uh, cool. it's like one of those things. Where I'm just like, well, <laughs> like, might as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I've, you know, I've done it a few. Like, uh, obviously, I have played Minecraft like before, but mm -hmm. not a not a whole lot. So damn. Okay. Very fundamental sure. part of my childhood. So, okay. Yeah. You know, I'm, it, I'm like a lot of people. Yeah. 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 yeah that makes sense. Sure. Uh, what do you What are you gonna build today? Do you have any like? Oh, thoughts? I I I don't know actually. Uh, any suggestions I'm okay I'm also struggling I think I'm gonna try to build the media center okay I'm like because this I want to do this like over a series so you know build the media center throughout all the interviews kind uh, of thing. makes sense so at the end maybe but I have no sense of like design I'm yeah. terrible at like architecture and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that so no, for sure. we'll see how this works out okay um, uh, let's see Actually, might as well pull, yeah I can pull out like a, just like a yeah also I forgot about <laughs> Minecraft, the trackpad is so fun. Yeah. I used to do this with um, my friends, and then they told me to get a mouse, and it changed my life forever. Oh, actually, I would have a mouse on me if you want to use it. Low key? Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. Do it. Let's awesome. Do it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Incredible. I guess a game's major kind of has to be. <laughs> well, uh, so actually, like, uh, the, the really the funny thing is, I. It's just like I recently just got a wireless mouse because it's like I had like my wired mouse at home and mm -hmm. I didn't take it anywhere because it was just like annoying or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so like literally like this <laughs> this semester I was like I I need a because I'm not gonna. It's like, time. I mean it's time. <laughs> it's time. Like I really like like I need a I need a mouse. I'm not gonna you know carry a a a, <laughs> a, a wired one around with me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely not. For sure. Oh, cool, cool. In here. Oh, I have to do this keyboard. Okay, let's, let's shift. Mm. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. We're chilling. Um, oh, I'm trying to like do something I don't really need to do at all. I forgot that I had the skin on on your thing from when <laughs> I was 13. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> amazing. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, damn. Classic. Uh, cool. So I guess like, how did how did you get into video games? Like, yeah. How did you, how so did you start? Uh, so I guess like the first uh, the, the the first like game stuff I so I uh, like yeah I mean like I played game games with like my dad and my brother when mm -hmm. I was small like we we uh, we like hopped on like an old like uh, Sega Genesis and we played oh, nice. like Mortal Kombat with each other. Uh, a lot. And that was our thing. Uh, so, so that was like a that was like a, a ton of fun. And yeah, I mean, it was just like what like me and like my brother did to just kind of like you know, chill around and you know pass the time or whatever. Oh, nice. uh, and your dad played too. Yeah, yeah. My dad, oh, my nice. dad would play with us or whatever. So, uh, awesome. so, uh, so yeah. So I guess like you know, just kind of growing up and like I rem like I know like the first game like I spent like a lot of time playing myself was uh, Guitar Hero 2, because I remember it was like my brother got Guitar Hero 2, you know, the guitar, and then like he wasn't a huge fan, uh, but I tried it and I, and I was, okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, like he was like, he was like, yeah, like this, you know, let's just whatever, like let this just, you know, be your thing. Yeah. or whatever like you you do it and so like that was like the first game that i spent like a lot a lot of time playing uh and then like got good at that and you know was doing like the was like a guitar hero person for like that was for, like your, a few was years yeah yeah did you uh, play competitive guitar hero at all? no i was I'd, i never was like that good but like i did this thing where it, like like when they were like demoing uh for uh when i uh, whatever like i'd like they're demoing guitar here at best buy like i'd go in and like play an oh expert, yeah you know yeah. and it's like oh, okay. i'd impress everyone in yeah, the store because yeah. i mean i was like a you know small little Super child cool. yeah it was yeah it was exactly i was i was the the coolest of all the coolest cat in the island, exactly for sure. exactly yeah. for sure so uh so that's what uh 
so so uh, so yeah so so there's that uh and then uh like i like i was telling you it was like middle school uh or yeah so it was like around then like my dad showed me uh starcraft actually like the oh, original yeah, one yeah. like the like the og starcraft and like i played a lot of custom mods on mm. on that uh on that game on um, yeah i just did like a, a ton of like custom uh like star starcraft so, games yeah, and like yeah. not the actual game and then like i uh, you know years passed and then starcraft 2 came out and that was like my big that was like me and my brother were like oh my god <laughs> you know like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, Star <laughs> it's starcraft 2 you know we're gonna we're gonna play it and then i got i played quite a bit of uh starcraft 2 that was like that okay. was like the kind that was like Mm, seventh grade, sixth, seventh grade, something okay. like that. Nice. Uh, I play a lot of StarCraft too. And That's like, a hard game. StarCraft yeah, super yeah, hard. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, that 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 one was like, I uh, like I got up to like platinum and on one v one, like diamond on two v two. Oh, okay. was like my okay. thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so it's like so 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 I was yeah. So I was uh, I was StarCrafting for like a, a while, and then I. Uh, I was like, I was like pretty good, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and then out of, out of nowhere, I was just at lunch with like my buddies, and they were like, "Yo, you like me and my, me and some other people, and my uncle from Florida, <laughs> are playing this game called, uh, we're playing League of Legends. I mean, have you played it before?" I was like, "No, what is that?" He was like, "Dude, if you love StarCraft, <laughs> you're gonna love this. You're gonna have uh, an amazing time." Uh, and I was like, okay. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, yeah, I was, I was up on League of Legends train, and, uh, and then that's like was like my big gaming thing for like, okay, the next cool. few years. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so that was like, yeah. So that was. Uh, Did you ever play like competitive and stuff? No, okay. no. I was. Still, I never got good at League of Legends. I was like, I was like, I, like, I was. It was. It's fun because it was like kind of like a lot of those games. Like I spent a while like. Uh, trying to like, be good at them and then like League of Legends was just something that I was just never good yeah. at. Like I like I was early on the train and played a lot. You know, I was playing like season two or something like that mm -hmm. of League of Legends, but man was I I just never got good. <laughs> <laughs> I just never got good and like eventually all my friends got good, but by then I was like uh, I was like nah. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I was like I was like, off the that makes sense. Uh, I was off the train. Uh, how do you pull up like the, the oh e. e e there yeah. you go okay Sorry. awesome no for sure yeah yeah I'm just trying to make the outer wall right now well, yeah I don't know for sure this is gonna be a janky media center we're gonna need some architecture majors to yeah. <laughs> help us out or something um yeah cool so like what are you what are you playing now like what's the yeah, so now like I try and like uh, let's see now I try and mostly I keep up with like what's going on in whatever kind of indie thing is is the buzz or mm. yeah you know i'm just yeah i'm just kind of like keeping up okay, with like cool. whatever yeah uh whatever kind of game i'm trying to see is there like an is there like an annenberg logo in there? like that ams can make that oh for right sure now. yeah i'll just pull it up on the <laughs> thing nice it's like I'm at the Annenberg logo right now. <laughs> oh look, there it is. Found it. Oh look at that. Exactly. Yeah, right on okay. Stream. Boom. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'll use that as my reference. Okay. Nice. Cool. So uh, yeah. So that's like mostly what I. Uh, that's mostly what I play these days when, when okay. I when I do do it. Just kind of like me keeping up with like what people are talking about yeah. on like the whoever I follow on Twitter or. If anything is generating like a lot of hype, or people are like, "Oh, it's game of the year," or whatever, like mm -hmm. that's that's what I spend like most of my time like playing. And then every every once in a while, like I'll go back and play like some bigger games that I know I enjoyed. Like I just did a uh, Fallout New Vegas Ooh, again, uh, yeah, which like is just like such a in, an insanely good game. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, like Fallout New Vegas is uh, insanely good. Yeah. So I. Uh, so yeah, so that's okay, uh, cool. so you know it's you know more of like a uh, like things for fun, but also like try and keep it somewhat practical, <laughs> you yeah, know, no, just because. But I mean, like at the same time, like that's the nice thing about your thing being making games, you yeah, know. It's yeah. like is that uh, <laughs> is that like you know like you can keep up with things by playing games. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, no, that's fun. That's a good time. Yeah. How did uh, you get into making games? So it was so that was my soft so my sophomore year of high school I took like a regular computer science class 
Uh, I took like the like the AP computer science mm -hmm. class or whatever because I just needed an elective and it sounded somewhat interesting. Yeah, I had no idea what the what that was. <laughs> you know, right. like I was like I was like I have no idea like what that consists of, but it's computers. And <laughs> my, my mom told me I'd be like um, it was like a thing I could do or whatever. You know, my mom works in like worked in HR for a long time, so <laughs> she was always like very like about like those practice she was like i i just said <laughs> she was like you know do something very practical so i was like okay fine uh, whatever so i i uh so i hopped into that like my sophomore year of high school and uh that was like it was like i had it like i had a good time doing that and it was like interesting just like starting to like program and things like that yeah. and uh you know uh so uh yeah and then uh the final project for that was you had to make some sort of like interactive thing uh whether that was a game or just like you click and something happens you had to make some sort of like graphical like com program uh, right. and so i tried so i tried to make a game i tried to make a rhythm game uh <laughs> that was like yeah because i was like yeah you know like guitar hero yeah, it's right, still right. one of my favorite games of all time you know i uh, you know got a Rip yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's let's make a rhythm game, and it was broken, and it <laughs> didn't work, and uh, it was like called like Wazdy Hero is what I call it. It was just played with, and like they had there's no like moving notes or anything like that. It was just kind of like it told you a note to play at the top, and if you hit W A S D, then like it would change the <laughs> note that you would have to play, and yeah, then like you, I yeah. and then like some janky math behind like oh was this like on time or like on oh, right, or something right. like, yeah, like yeah. you know like i uh, tried my tried my best uh, on that yeah, but i mean i didn't really know what i was uh, doing but that but that was fun and so my junior year of high school i uh, there was a really cool class uh, where you could apply and then for the entire year you just kind of could study whatever you wanted uh, you can just kind of do anything like, like you would just like for one semester you would like research whatever topic you chose and then like the the second semester you would make some sort of like product it was like an independent study thing oh, that's fine. Uh, and so I was kind of like thinking off of the my experience like you know because I was like oh, like computer science is like a ton of fun you know I know you can make games with it you know like let's apply to this class see if I get in and then like you know maybe I, I can see like s study for a year like how how games are made, uh, and so junior year was like the first time I had actually like looked into like well how are like video games actually uh, actually made or like how mm -hmm. can you how can you start making them because uh, I learned those were two different things <laughs> like like how games are actually made and then like how you can just like get started at home yeah uh, because like yeah, you can just hard, launch yeah. it well because it's like it's never been easier to like get started <laughs> making right. games but like the process of like actually like finishing and making them is 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 still very hard absolutely uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, so yeah so it was like my junior year i did that i i tried the rhythm game thing again it was functional this time oh, it wasn't nice. Congrats. it wasn't <laughs> yeah it wasn't <laughs> necessarily fun but it was uh it was functional put the fun in function exactly so uh 100 <laughs> percent and, uh, and that was like but when i finished that like project uh uh, it was like a, I used like a little just like pixel art kind of looking, oh, uh, nice. okay, lo cool. kind of looking rhythm game, and uh, yeah, it was it was really fun. Like Kanye West was the final boss of that game. Like it was as he yeah, should, yeah, be, as probably, he should yeah. be. Yeah, it was. Uh, so yeah, so that was that was a ton of fun. And then after that, I was like, well, like, dang, that was you know that was that was great. I, yeah, that was a, that was a really that was a really good time. Uh, I wonder, like, is this a you know, because I'm near like the jun end of my junior year of high school, mm. I'm like, is this a thing I can do for school? Like, right. Is there like, is there like, you know, game school or, <laughs> or whatever, whatever, video whatever? Game high school. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> is there like, you know, is there, is there a video game high school? Uh, and then you know, if you do a, a bit of googling, uh, for I mean, first results always USC. Yeah. So I'd never heard of USC actually before that point. Oh, really? Like, That's yeah, crazy. Where yeah. are you from? Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, okay, cool. So. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, so I guess that's kind of how uh, that's kind of how I started with the whole games thing. Uh, was yeah, it was just like this kind of 
just like these random opportunities in high school and, yeah. and then I was like yeah like that's something I would like to like to do and uh, that's how I found and you know the like the computer science games program mm -hmm. like seemed like I was like oh because I mean up to then I thought I was just going to do computer right. science and then when that came up well, I was like well I can still do you know computer science without the uh and, and with right. while doing the, yeah. the games yeah, thing yeah. as, as you well, you know, ex exactly like, you know, like, you know, it makes my mom a little happy right, here, right. you know, she's like, oh, you, you know, uh, yeah, the, it's the applications shorter than the SCA one. So nice. <laughs> there's a, everything, everything lines up. Also, uh, like, that's a great thing to have is like, because that having computer science as a background is not bad, you know. No, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That's that's like I that's what I always joke. It's like well, at the end of the day, I have like a computer science yeah, thing. Right. So it's like if whatever like ends up not being my thing or not working, right? Out, then, yeah, then, whatever. Uh, cool. Cool. Yeah. How did you um? How did you get into VR? I guess. Yeah. So I uh, that was I. Uh, Let's see, when did that... So that was... So it was, like, my senior year of high school. They were demoing a, uh, the HTC Vive at a Microsoft store. Mm. My brother... Uh, my brother was like, hey, like... Uh, he goes to school at UT Austin. He was like, hey, like... Uh, I just did VR at, you know, at school, and it, it's absolutely insane. It's, like, the coolest... <laughs> like, this is the coolest thing I've ever... I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so right. he was like, I. Uh, he was like, you need to. He was like, you know, you're into the whole games thing. Like, you need to. You need to try VR out. Like, you're, you're missing out. He's like, I think like Microsoft stores are demoing stuff. So I went to the mall, <laughs> and I I would just I had like a little like VR set up there, uh, and I was like, all right, cool. Like, let's 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 try it out. Uh, and yeah, it was, <laughs> it was like it was like yeah yeah. <laughs> it, I was like. I like you know I did uh, a demo of a uh, raw data which oh, was yeah, like yeah, which yeah. was like you know it one was yeah, yeah it was like it was like one of the, like the first games to like that was like the thing you showed people, people back about, then yeah. yeah and it was like oh like that's you know like oh yeah raw data is the shit or whatever because uh, raw because raw data is a ton of fun. Uh, what yeah so like what games are mm. you? What now? Like what's, yeah, what so games so now? that yeah. so so that was like when I like first first tried it, uh, and then uh, then I uh, and then I got here mm -hmm. and uh, found like the like VR club or whatever X XR VRSC at the time now now XRSC. Uh, and they were hosting like a little office out, like a self-reported like office hours thing. And they were just like, hey, like here's some people who have like worked on projects in VR or have, you know, done, uh, had VR jobs before, or, like whatever. Just like if like these are people who are like- Are in the industry. Yeah, like or no, yeah, are, you know, doing the thing that you might be, uh, that you're interested in. So if you want to come out and, and talk to, talk to these people, uh, go ahead. And so I, so I showed, so I showed up I uh, and I I met a few people uh, and yeah we just we were just talking about I was like yeah like I've tried VR a few times before you know it was you know super cool super fun you know I'd like to like it's a thing I'd like to get into I uh, and they're like okay like dope I'm like let's <laughs> let, let's get so like we yeah. just like and so like that became like a little group that like hung out at the. Uh, at SCI, which is like one of the, or just like the games building over, like there's, there's like a little VR, it's called the MXR lab uh, over there. And so we would hang out there like after class every Friday and just like chill and play VR games. And it was a, uh, it was like a really fun time. Uh, and then it came around in spring semester. Uh, one of the people who I met there was like, hey, you know, I'm pitching to the, uh, senior games capstone uh, i'm pitching a vr game like when i was because uh, i was going into my sophomore year it was a, a spring of my freshman year he was like uh my sophomore year i got to work on one of those capstone projects and it was amazing he was like so if, you know he's like you can help me build like the prototype and uh you know like if we get accepted then you can like work on the game i was like for the and I was like, oh, okay, great. Like, yeah. this is, like, very first VR project. Like, you know, I'd made a small, a few small prototypes, like, 
while at uh, like while here so I was like yeah let's let's freaking you know let's do it you know let's right. let's uh, let's try it and then I uh, that was a ton of fun because it was like hanging out and you know just like chilling in making VR games, and then yeah. yeah making games and then you know like like and then like w working on like that project my spring semester I was like okay like this this is like correct because uh, it was like because it was like not only like like it was just like so fun to play even when things were like super early you know like it's just right. like oh cause yeah it's VR yeah because yeah, right thing. so we're so we're yeah. you know so I just got to like chill in VR for <laughs> That's you know such a great wow expression too. I love just chilling in VR exactly so uh, so you know we did that and uh, so that project ended up not getting green lit for uh, oh sad for uh, yeah but so but he was like okay like even though we didn't get greenlit uh, one of the other one of the other guys I met through that lab he's like he's working on a project next year let me he's like let's you know we'll talk to him he's like you're you know awesome you know you you're doing good work or whatever so I was like cool yeah and he's so I then I got recruited for for that project, which actually wasn't a game. Uh, it's it was it's all it's called Ollie. It's a VR three D animation tool. Uh, so the director of that project was a animation student. Oh, that's uh, crazy. That's a cool. And we were basically trying to build like the iMovie of a three D animation. Oh, nice. Okay. By basically like uh, putting it like like putting an animation tool in VR and then because like the general idea is like like if you're like immersed in your animation then things make a lot more sense than right. if you're learning on like a 2d surface like a yeah. screen like if like you know the idea of like oh like I want to move my plane here you know and then you can literally just like pick up a plane and then like put it you know in another spot right, and then hit and then hit play and then it goes like whoop, you know right there so That's we tried to like make yeah. that as simple as possible yeah. uh, and that was yeah and the, that so I worked on that all last year uh, and I mean that ended up being that ended up being awesome like that was uh, we showed at a few places you know uh, we'd like a computer graphics conference over the summer and uh, you know like we yeah it, it ended up being like a like a legit thing uh, which was which was just like awesome to to see uh, oh yeah yeah, cause sure. yeah, so so then we uh, so we published that like at the beginning of uh, this fall, we published that on like the mm -hmm. Oculus Store. So like now, hypothetically, like, and people oh. that have down people have downloaded it. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not on Quest. Okay. Yeah, right. uh, we pitched. So we we actually pitched for uh, a Quest submission, but I, uh, as I've kind of learned, uh, <laughs> the, the the Quest submission process is a. Uh, is is not friendly okay. uh, yeah yeah just because like oculus is like curating it more you know because like mm, they're yeah. selling so many quests right now that they're like we want to make sure that anything that's made for the quest is like it's i mean it's Kinda like what all quest. the yeah exactly like basically like any of the uh, what like nintendo used to be like you know like right. nintendo didn't yeah. let anything on their platform unless like you were like a legit developer right. you know that was like their thing for a really long time until like the Switch, obviously, and then yeah. they're letting all of these indies on it. You can just get a dev yeah. kit and start making a Switch game. Do you now. think Oculus should do that? Like, because I feel like the uh, Quest would do great from just open yeah, sourcing. yeah, no, it, yeah. I th I think I think they should. I think and I think they will get there. Hmm. Uh, but I think they're just being Facebook right now, oh, <laughs> and they're just yeah. like, you know, just like, well, <laughs> like yeah. you, I don't know, like. Do we trust people? Because, like, I mean, there's, like, a lot of, like, random VR products out there that, like, if you go through Steam or you go through, like, even the Oculus Store, right. like, a lot, there's, like, just, like, a lot of things that, like, yeah. people just, like, put up. And, like, if someone, like, a very first-time VR user was, like, oh, like, let me download this, then they'd be, like, well, VR sucks, you know? Because, yeah, like, if true. they, because, yeah, like, I mean, like, sense. even then, like, because, like, even though, like, VR is cool, like, you have to... Like, if there's not, like, a pretty strict process to make sure that, like, it's even running at, like, frame rate, you know? Or, like, computers can run it, or you're not going to make someone vomit, you know? Like, right. <laughs> there's, yeah, so there's, there's things like... Basic there's, things. Exactly. There's that. things like that that do get messed up so right. <laughs> sometimes. Okay. And so, like, that's why, like, they're really, like, well, we have to, you know, keep it to... Like, yeah. I mean, they're not... I mean, it's, like, not that standard for Quest, but it's pretty high. But I think you'll... I think you'll open up as uh, as, yeah. as as we kind of go along and the kind of the ecosystem starts developing. What do you think it more. needs? Like, what does VR need to make that final push? 
because it's there. Like it's yeah. the quest. I, I just got it like so, recently, and it's yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's in, it's a it's a it's a weird question. I I think I uh, I don't know. I think the the quest is because the quest is hard to make good games for. Is mm. Is why just because of the processing power. Just because, yeah, just because yeah. of the processing power. Like you, you get like a supercharged Android in right, there. Right, right. That's run. That runs VR. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you get, you get like the world's most powerful Android but in the headset. Still, like, but it an also, <laughs> it, but it's still at the end of the day, right. like it's still like a mobile processor. Yeah. Uh, and graphics card. So you know, it's it's really that like, well, are we gonna, like, you really have to balance like a like high fidelity and like. <laughs> like good like a good game you know yeah. so it's like it's like you got to make like well like what's the minimum that we can do to make it still look like stylish mm. and good and then like what optimizations can we make on that you know uh like there's no like dynamic lighting is basically like impossible mm. you know like everything has right. to be like pretty like baked in and like shadows are like mostly a no <laughs> you right. know okay. so it's like uh yeah so it's yeah. So it's, it's really so, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so it's a uh, but uh but i mean even then even then still things still look great like yeah. things like things on the quest still look great so i don't yeah i don't know i think we just uh yeah just just make more games yeah, yeah, more yeah. i think i yeah. think we're just i think people are just going to need to keep making more interesting content right. and then i uh, and then we'll see we'll just kind of see where it goes yeah what kind of aesthetics would you like to see like because i saw mm -hmm. that you liked um I, I was stalking. I was stalking no, Twitter for, for sure, sure. For um, sure. And you like like pale landscapes, like pixel art. Yeah. And that's, I love that so yeah. much. Yeah. So so that so that that's an aesthetic that I that I love. That's not like a. I guess that's not my. I guess that's not what. Because it's like I guess right now I don't really have like an art aesthetic mm -hmm. that like I because I'm, I'm an artist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like like uh, but I really <clears throat> I guess like the kind of things that I am that I that I go for with I guess the stuff that I'm making like mm -hmm. right now and like what I plan on going forward is just like kind of like m super playful kind of it almost feels like you're playing with toys okay, basically yeah, kind right. of uh, so you, you said you saw Detour Bus yeah, so like right. the, the, the idea behind like Detour Bus you know was like you have like I mean it's basically like the world's like coolest and like it's an impossible like hot wheel set right <laughs> so it's like you have like a you have like a crazy piece in each hand and then like you lock it to like the end of the track and then like you adjust and locks into place and your car just like kind of drives on mm -hmm. it so like eventually you just have like this crazy road like the while the truck is yeah driving. and then then you're then the you know the vw bus is just kind of like grooving along <laughs> like just kind of like you know it's like not physics based at all it's just it just it's just it's just, it's just, yeah, it's it's just, just rolling along and that's why the whole it, game. exactly it's just it's just a vibe so it's just like it's so like that's what it was like when me and the the other person I worked on Detour Bus with we were like designing and coming up with an idea or like how is this like mechanic going to work because we started with a physical prototype mm. uh, we had a Hot Wheel on like two pieces of cardboard track cool. and like we made like a little pr physical prototype where you had to like tilt like the track onto like the tr like each cardboard track onto like the other one so like the bus would go so like the car would go like and like you had to like get to a oh, goal see, just I just see. by doing that yeah uh, and we're like well like that was a lot of fun like we you know showed it to people yeah. and we're like that's a lot of fun but like the it's fun because of how physical it is mm. like kind of like having to maneuver it around like your body and you know right, we, space, when we put yeah. like and we put like an arbitrary rule where like okay like when i like when the car is like on the track on, on that piece you can't move it okay you can't move yeah. your hand so uh so that doesn't transfer into vr at all <laughs> like because we were like putting like physical limits on your body right. in this prototype so we're like well how can we make that fun uh, we're just like well i guess if we make like uh you just like add the like add like crazy pieces mm -hmm. and then like just like you know the car is just going to like drive along them at like a constant speed and you know then, it, then it's going to feel like you're playing with Right. Like playing with toys, yeah. uh, that, and that was like the concept behind the animation tool. That was like a yeah. that was like a lesson I learned from that because it was like it used one button, and you know, like the whole idea was that like three D animation was as easy like when you're a kid, right. you yeah. know, you're like, you know, <laughs> so like uh, <laughs> exactly, but so like that, but like 
actual animation yeah. you know so i yeah. uh, that's the best part about vr i feel like right now <laughs> it's really in the playing with toys phase mm -hmm. like every is. application is like oh i'm just like yeah exa around. exactly yeah. so so that's uh so that that's really what i i go for with okay. with stuff it's just like because i f i'm like super interested and in, like you know just like play i, mm -hmm. I guess as like yeah. a, like the act of playing you know like with like your child mm -hmm. you know or whatever did you just like oh. yeah i i leg it a little okay. bit i yeah. leg it a little bit just like it's just like you know things like that uh there's like uh yeah because i i don't know because it's like because people when i talk to this about people they're like yeah like what are you like your, what are your big influences from that and i'm like uh, like the Eric Andre show <laughs> that's like my biggest like comedic influence you yeah. know and uh, that doesn't transfer into like kind of like that is it what I'm making yeah. is very different but I guess like that's I uh, just like what I <laughs> like when I think of that I'm like well what's what's a funny thing I'm like like the like, Eric Andre show right. <laughs> like, like, that's just yeah that I don't that's sense. just like that's just like it's it's a little it's a little different from like what I end up actually making but I think just like that like just like smart and like clever right. like uh, just goofiness you know right. that's like what that's what like, i could try and do that's yeah like, like, it's like whimsical like yeah very, exactly yeah. yeah yeah like whimsical like bordering like surreal <laughs> and like the goofy bus yeah myself, exactly yeah. exactly so uh so yeah so like uh, for detour bus it's like we're you know gearing up to like pitch and mm -hmm. for the senior capstone project and uh which is a ton of fun mm -hmm. and you know we're trying to figure out like well what is this going to, entire experience going to look like and so like right because like we built out two levels we built out the first two which was mount busmore national monument which has the four great buses of american <laughs> history uh the magic school bus That's uh true. the night bus okay. uh, the bus from speed and the rosa parks bus so those are yeah, the, those four it. those four <laughs> buses are, are we have a like a monument to them in our in our game uh and then this the second level is the heart of mount bus Kano. and so that that like so like that level like as you go along like lava rises and starts like pouring out the side so it's just like the general idea is that you have less space to kind of right. build around and so like we're playing with that we're playing with that right now like well how can we add like con like random like kind of funny constraints like what kind of like weird environments mm -hmm. can we like put this like little groovy vw bus in and, uh, <laughs> and just like make them build because because we didn't want to add like we didn't want to make like the i guess like mechanic more complex because mm -hmm. like right now like we have like a pretty strong focus on like yeah you know like you can just kind of do it at your own you know do it at your own speed you know like uh, in the trailer like it shows like the bus falling off the edge uh but like if the bus falls off the edge all you do is go back a few pieces like you know so it's like yeah. it's so it's like not really a punishment it's just kind of like a like hey like play the game still right. you know like you know uh, we're not just gonna kind of just to kind of like keep you engaged yeah. a little bit kind of uh, you know wanting this bus to, <laughs> to, you want to, it to succeed. Hey, you want it you, <laughs> you want it to succeed but like so when we're designing things we're like well we can't be like timing based or anything mm. based off of like points so we're like we have like a Stressful. so yeah so yeah so we have like a like an underworld level kind of in the works right now where you kind of you know are stuck in like infrastructure hell mm. is what we're calling That's it so uh, <laughs> and uh, and you have to like hit like so, like the constraint in that level is like well this is the first level where it doesn't give you like the order of points to go to mm. you have like five like shrines that you need to hit and then like you have to like make a pentagram is like the that's and so then good. boom yeah. like uh <laughs> that's so there's that we have like an underwater level there's like a herding uh bison which we're calling bus bussin bussin, <laughs> bussin. uh <laughs> <laughs> so that I just like, like the bus yeah yeah bus yeah exactly just like like bus puns and and, and things like that just because like we want like i don't know it's just like this, this game is just all about like i just like like you said like yeah, yeah just like just like busting around and like <laughs> i like but like at the same time like making something that like my mom could play yeah. or anyone who's never tried vr right. before or even like games people like you know you this like I just said on my mom, mom proof. Right oh, now. That, that's Ex honestly exactly yeah. like my mom was. My mom was like Zach. You know I don't play games. And you know I've never checked VR. And I was like, let me just try. I was like, just. just and I was like, trust me on this one. I you got this. Yeah. And she was she was able to complete like the first two levels. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. So uh, 
so this so that was yeah that yeah. was that was that was awesome so like that's really like the focus on this project is kind of like making it uh, making a thing that people can just kind of like jump into that's like easy enough to like get used to and learn and play but that doesn't require like a lot of action right. and things like that and a lot of movement so if you need to play it sitting down you can play it sitting down oh, okay because like that's what i always thought was like a tough scene in vr is like i have to get up yeah ex know? exactly exactly <laughs> so so right now you can mostly play it sitting down as long as i uh, I mean, right now it's kind of designed around like my, you know, my wingspan. So it's like, uh, so it's like if you like how far I can reach, like that's kind of like the minimum. So it's like if mm -hmm. you can't really reach, you might need to like, you know, like <laughs> lean, lean a little bit. But uh, like mostly it can be played right. like sitting down or like even like in a very minimal area, like yeah. very easily be played in, okay, in here, cool. yeah. uh, which which is nice. So just like thinking of like random constraints yeah. so like kind of just like those random constraints VR can have and then just being like well how can we like how can we address those in like you know a, a, like a compelling a compelling way because I uh, yeah because for some people like some people like their answer at least the, the the big VR market at this point like is like oh yeah you just use the thumbstick to kind of like mm. scoop around you right. know the, like smooth locomotion is like mm -hmm. the thing and it's like if you release a game right now that requires movement and it doesn't have smooth movement on it people are going to review bomb their game or like oh, post and be okay. like yeah. be like lazy devs mm -hmm. don't put in don't put in smooth movement and even if you're like well this game was designed to be like teleported right. you know like there's like oh we added like a little thing that's like interesting it's like, i mean no. it's like they're like they're <laughs> like no they're, they're like you like there's uh there's uh there's, there's like a few there's like one there's one game that's like just so cool it came out for the quest recently also it's called the under presents okay. uh it was made by a, a a usc alum from the she's a phd at the media arts and practice okay, division cool. uh, her name's samantha gorman she's awesome she's she the stuff she makes is the coolest stuff uh but the how like movement in that game's work is you do like this they call it like the crunch or like a scrunch or something and like kind of like the space like around you kind of like when you like hit this button goes like kind of like it does like this weird like bend oh, all okay. around you and then like when you release it it like kind of scrunches towards you and you it's end like up it yeah so you it, like rubber bands and then like the whole world moves towards you and it's like the it's like oh, the most like it's sick. like a super yeah. trippy like very like inception looking yeah. when i saw it in the trailer i was like whoa that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be like the coolest thing ever and yeah. then you go and then that game is released and then i have a friend who is working at that company and or just if you look at the reviews <laughs> people are like why can't i like slide around in this game <laughs> And they're Everyone like, well, they're like, what do you like? We spent, <laughs> we're like, we spent so like, obviously put That's like the whole thing, right there. Like, the whole thing. like you know, like this experience is like so cool, and like this plays in like very well into like the aesthetics of the whole thing. But people are like, no, no, want to slide, want to slide. So there's just like weird. So it's like, I, uh, so yeah, so uh, so I'm trying to put it. So that, that's very intentionally why. It, detour bus you don't move around at right all. You don't even tackle <laughs> i don't i was like i'm like like let's let's design something that's just like in place because i don't want to because it's like because like i think coming up with like interesting movement methods is going to be cool but if people in the end of the day are just going to complain then it's like but this is a way to get people in who don't like smooth because like now people are just making their games with movement mm. you know so it's like it's not for everyone right. so it's like uh, it's a good way I like trying to contribute to the you know just kind of just bring more people into into, space, into yeah. yeah into VR into the space uh, like that's what I'm all about because I think like VR is like such a fun and like cool thing and uh, people are going to tell like just like crazy interesting stories or you know whatever it is and I'm like, well, like I don't have those stories right now <laughs> you know like like I like I like I don't like I don't have like the I, I don't operate in like the full like you know like deep you know emotions yeah. but it's like it's because you know but it's like what can i do it's like i can make some jokes in the meantime that's like that's like really like what i tell people like i can like i, I, I like i can make some like fun jokes and like design things that are like fun for people to just yeah. like you know hop into and like goof around in mm -hmm. which i think like Game that's what i'm yeah yeah, yeah exactly that's what like that's what i that's what i'm all about and yeah. you know uh, just like letting people like just like giving people like spaces to like you know like 
play and just yeah. like be goofy and whatever. And so the VR definitely needs that. That's like the thing that it should. It should yeah. Be. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. There's like if you like in the 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 thing like the Turby wrote about me. There's like my my favorite thing like of all time. It's just like this little block quote, and it's just like virtual reality needs more jokes. Oh Zach yeah, Flores. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like that's I have it like pinned. Yeah. On, I have it pinned on my Twitter because it's like that's like that's like my whole that's <laughs> like that's that's like, that's like what I that's like what I exist by I guess because it's uh yeah, because I, th- I think it's just so, it's so cool. and some people, some people have done it like very well. Like there's, there's good some good VR jokes out there. Right. Or like uh, <laughs> some good VR. Yeah, jokes. yeah, because uh, like uh, Justin Roiland's first game, accounting, mm-hmm. uh, who who he's one of right. the Rick and Morty people. He made that with uh, William Pugh and Crows Crows Crows, which uh, is just like another really funny group of people that have made some amazing indie games. Uh, so they collabed and put out Counting, which is like a really, which is great. Uh, that like that was one of the first games that I tried early on. That I was like, okay, like I can see myself right. kind of working on something mm-hmm. like like this because that was like that game's so funny. Uh, and then there's like a few. Uh, there's a like a short experience came out recently called Beach Body Bros. Okay. Uh, it's so. made by like an animator, uh, and he makes like a lot of like basically like animated like music video like vr music videos mm. kind of that are like interactive you know so like work with like a composer or whatever uh but f- like for this one like all it is is like there's like a synth wave soundtrack and like there are like these like cartoon like muscular dudes like kind of like flying by you and <laughs> you have like you have like a weight in each hand and all you do for like the entirety of this you like you can see yourself like little model of yourself in like yeah. the sky or whatever and like as you weigh more like you get like buffer and buffer oh, that's so and fun. like the bros are just like you're looking good <laughs> bro like pump you know keep on and then like eventually like you just kind of like you get buff enough and you can you just kind of like ascend and like this <laughs> star there's like stars and just like this synth wave soundtrack just like look at the sky you know thing <laughs> like like thing you know like things like that it's like it's like absolutely just like so funny for like five minutes you're just like laughing or just yeah. like because it, it's, it's just so beach body because yeah, you yeah. you're just you're just being a beach body bro for a little bit you know you can't do that in like a 2d game exactly yeah. there's abso- absolutely because there's so there's like even like little like because like one thing that experience uh, which is super interesting that like is starting to become more of a vr thing is uh, i don't know if you've seen boneworks yes yeah, oh, so yeah. so like though that was like boneworks whole thing like that game uh like Beach Body Bros, like when you have the weight, it's like not one to one with the controller. Mm. It's like when you're weak, it like the, you should like struggle to lift it, right. and then as you get stronger, it becomes mm. like, and that's like the whole thing with bone works is that if you pick up a hammer, and then, <laughs> then like the the person like your avatar in the game is gonna like struggle to like swing it fast, you know, because it's a how does that work though? Like it's, is there a delay? Or? Yeah, yeah. So it's just like they, I, I'm like that. It's just like a lot of physics okay, and right. a lot of math to like add like physically like simulate like a body using a hammer mm. just based off of what your controller right. inputs are so yeah so like it like it like delays behind in like a way that's like f- that like when you're in vr is like physically accurate you I know okay. so it's like so you based kinda, you off see of it happening so you start going this yeah exactly yeah yeah okay. a little bit a li- yeah it's it's basically like yeah it's it it becomes i think uh, people were a little scared to do it for a while because like that was like the for, I mean, as far as I know, like the first big release to have like <coughs> totally like physics simulated things, because like you know, like people are like, yeah, I mean, like if you know, if you have like a wall here and you know, whatever, it's going to be weird if I like put my hand against the wall and like Can't my controller wall. keeps going, right. but you know, my you know, my hand goes like that. Yeah. But I think like the market was just there. They're like, well, we can make, especially people who are like comfortable with like things not being like one to one. Because, like, that game's all smooth movement, you know? Mm, like, you right, can't teleport yeah. in that game at all. So people are just comfortable, like, yeah, like, let's get, like, a this, like, next level, mm. like, interesting experience without it being, like, you know, a hundred, like, immersive in, like, a completely different way, right. you know? Uh, and, yeah, I mean, like, it sold. <laughs> like, it'd be, yeah, like, it'd be Beat Saber's record for, like, first to uh, I don't know how many you know, yeah. like a hundred thousand or something I think they're like they make like, tons of money yeah exactly yeah. I think I think it, they'd be beat, 
beat Saber's record for like first time. I love stress level gear too. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I grew up watching like Corridor Digital and like yeah. Yeah. No. No. That. So there. Yeah. So that. So Bone Wars. Yeah. Bone Wars is an awesome game. So like. Yeah. Beach Body Bros. Does does that. But like with like just like weights and you're just like. It's really fun to watch people like when like you throw them into it because that's what I use to show people VR who have never done it before. You know, like I just throw them in that and they're like. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're, 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 they're like, you're like, because like, you, they're like, why is it like not working? And like, it just ends up kind of being like you, that. you start you internally exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so weird. It's so yeah. it's so interesting. But uh, so that that's not something I've I've really uh, ex- explored a lot. Mm. But you know, maybe maybe if people I mean if people are loving it, then <laughs> yeah, might as well. Then might as well. But. Uh, I'm uh, I'm locked into Detour Bus for right now. I mean, That's it's your gonna thing. yeah. I mean, it's gonna be my thing until probably May 2021. So whoa, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, because we started last semester, I uh, and we're pitching to the Capstone project this semester, and then if we do get in, which like we have like a bit of uh, clout. Uh, clout right now. <laughs> we have a bit of clout right now. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have. I mean, we have. Yeah, we have a we have a bit of clout right now, and we are like in some like looking looking for some funding basically right. uh, like i got into a program at oculus where it's like they take like a hundred they take like a hundred people and then like you have like a few months to build like a demo and okay. then they, you send them their demo and then they choose however many projects usually around like 50 60 oh, get cool. submitted and they, they have like a pool of money and then you can get anywhere from if you do get a grant you can they give it in anywhere from like five thousand to fifty thousand. Oh, nice okay, so cool. i like two years ago one of the people i met at that vrc thing mm-hmm. i she got that grant soon after soon after that and then mm-hmm. like used that to like make her she was in the animation department though but it wasn't even her animation capstone she made her junior she just made a game that was funded by our kids it was really cool uh, and then but there's like 11 projects funded that year and it's like last year there's only like six that oh, got funded, I see. I see. but like they all got more, you right. know. So it's like, I mean, obviously, like they know I'm a student. They know I'm not looking for like a whole like fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> so like I like honestly like if I got that much, I would no have no idea what yeah, to do like with where it. Do you put that? It's like yeah. where do I like like basically like if I do get some funding, then you know, then I'm hopefully do that to one just be like hey i just got funding put me in this right, capstone yeah, exactly. program because yeah. you're going to want me <laughs> you know yeah. you're going you're going to want me to do that now, exactly yeah. exactly they you know you're going to look good basically if you do that uh, <laughs> you know win win you know <laughs> uh, i get to make my game with the team you know you get you, to, get, that, you get you get, get that, that sweet exactly yeah, exactly you get to so that's that's the general idea right, uh, yeah. and then uh, yes and then i would just use it to i mean i want to pay like uh, if I have a small team, because I'm aiming for like a smaller team than than a usual capstone project, mm-hmm. uh, I'm hoping to do like maybe like a semester of really stipend or something like that, right. just to kind of you know get have people a little bit more. Because yeah. well, like you know people are working hard, you know it's yeah, like it's hard to get people to do like most things. Exactly, yeah. like people like it's like people are working hard, you know. It's like you know if someone believes in it, and, you know you have the you have the funds available, like you know just give you <laughs> like well, yeah. yeah yeah give them something for their if their yeah. time, even though it doesn't. Because, like, that's the interesting thing about, like, seeing people I know, like, make films versus making games. Because, like, games are just, like, pure labor. Right. Like, like, <laughs> you, like, yeah. you all, like, you, like, films, like, there's, like, thing the costs, yeah, like, the camera, you the lights, camera yeah, lighting, the locations, yeah, the, the whole thing. And then it's, like, <laughs> and then it, it, it's, like, games, it's, like, yeah, it's you and, you know, the five other people <laughs> at, at, a co- at computers saying okay let's let's go you right. know you can buy some things but you know it, it never gets that expensive <laughs> you know it's like just pure labor right you now so yeah. so that's i guess that's nice that you don't need that much money but exactly you know, exactly around. exactly yeah but uh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah i think one of the most accurate thing quotes i've seen it's like people someone said like games are like as beautiful as operas but they're as technical as bridges oh, you know I see, I see. games are making operas out of bridges which i which i that's thought pretty quote. i was like yeah, yeah i was yeah. like games are making operas out of, out of bridges and i was like okay that's that's pretty interesting yeah. that's like a that's like a good way to look at right. it i think i think that's like a fair way to to kind of think about it because it just it, it just gets so crazy sometimes right, yeah. but uh no nah, detour plus has just been so much fun that's so, good, yeah yeah it's cool i really want to play it when you know when it comes out for sure i, I mean we have a demo out detourbus.itch.io we have like the 
played on stream. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so we have uh, so we have like the. I need to actually update that because there's been a, a few tweaks since then. But uh, right now it only works on uh, Rift, Rift S, mm -hmm. and then uh, Quest via Blink. Right, you know, right. uh, so it's not working on Vive headsets right yeah. now. But I mean that was. I mean, I submitted. Is I was working on it to submit to Oculus. So I mean, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, and they don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they like they don't let you submit to Oculus if you have the Steam VR plugin in your project. You have to like remove it <laughs> to build. Like even if you don't use it at all, Facebook, like man. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like they're like if that if any of that tech is like even in your project, like we're like it's an instant deny. You right. know, it just oh, yeah. it, they won't even let you upload it. That makes sense. I forgot to check to see if, oh, my computer's just dead now, I guess. That's cool. Great, okay. Yeah, I love, oh, okay, cool. Oh. I was going to say, if people had, if anyone's watching the stream, first of all, and if anyone had questions. Okay, Oliver, you're out of frame. That's true. Um, we're both out of frame. Yeah. <laughs> but you can listen to our beautiful voices. Sorry, Lafayette Pages. And sure. it's never ending, one, two, three. Okay. I don't know. Very cool. That sounds good, yeah. <laughs> um, you have to get to class at four, right? Yeah, I okay, do. I'm, right. I'm, I'm right here. So, yeah, it's probably a good time to, to leave now. But okay, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks so much for, for coming. For sure. Thanks for, thanks for having me. It's Absolutely. I'm always yeah. down to talk VR, games, goofs. That's, that's yeah. what I'm all about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your games and goofs. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Um, you want to hit the... Oh, sure. I got it. oh, yeah. Stop streaming. All right, bye-bye, stream. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>